base 20 framework as shown in the diagram. Deco from plywood with different materials. H20 timber beam and steel welling. And the H20 timber beam can be replaced by aluminum beam. Panel struts in different heights. And other accessories, etc. The assembly method is as follows. Setting up the assembly platform. Place the steel railing as drawing. Install the H20 timber beam at each side of the unit. Place the H20 timber beam and connect the timber beam and steel railing by flat clamp. Gauge and keep the diagonal in same length. Install the additional H20 timber beam for mounting unit. If you need to lengthen the timber beam, you can use beam splice for extension. Apply wood cut to site on demand. Laying the plywood. Note that plywood joints are sealed with glass sealant. And the plywood joints should be in the middle of the timber beam flange. Use wood screws to connect the plywood and the timber beams with a spacing of not more than 500 mm. Body powder covered on wood screw locations. Install the lifting bracket. Install the timber at the top and bottom of the panel unit and secure it in place with wood screws. Open the tie rod right hole. Lift the panel unit into position. And install panel struts and a timber beam bracket. Install tie rods and big plate knots. Fixing the outer corner panel with the angle tie bracket. Use formwork connector to connect steel railing at the unit to unit joint. For non right angle corners, use forming wood as a secondary beam support and connected steel railing with the swivel railing connector. Complete installation of other panel units and ensure right space wall thickness between internal and external formwork panels. Straighten formwork and pour concrete. After the cement reaches into sufficient strength, open formwork unit by unit. 